Okay, so we're, maybe we're in the video right now. Maybe we've transitioned fully into the video. Uh, let me put on my my patented video voice. Hello there. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. I'm uh, back here making a video for the first time. Actually, let's open it in a, in a, in a different way. I'll reveal, I'll reveal myself. I'm going to expose myself on, on camera. Uh, confetti in my, and at Jordan Adika. Yeah, children shout. All right, you little, you, you little devils. How about you improve with today's tips? Seamless, <laughs> seamless transition to video <laughs> topic. Hell yeah, great job, me. How about you, uh, video? <laughs> oh, here's a fun game. Let's guess what these little thumbnails are gonna be based on the titles alone. Like what's the very first image that comes out? What's the frame? All of that stuff. Romance tips. So I'm just gonna guess right off top. Ladies, it's me. It's like a, a guy that stood like that. Oh no, headphone. Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? I don't know how headphones work. And have you ever thought about how when you are kissing, have you ever thought about doing it with the back of your head? Or something like that. Let's check out. Way off, just incredibly way off. What? Uh, say no. If you go to the grocery store, they tell you the price is too high. No, I'll I'll have the things, please. Hey, what's up? Uh, you haven't been paying your taxes and the IRS is auditing you and you're going to jail? Uh, no. I'll take the money, actually. I'll keep it and I'm not in trouble anymore. ...to be just friends. Entering a friendship with someone that you are attracted to is a very bad idea. It's going to destroy you mentally. And you're just deluding yourself because she's not going to flip around and suddenly find you attractive. This is a different thing. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Y yes, based. The, the, the person you're pursuing, you shouldn't just do, you shouldn't just like fake befriend them in the hope that their, their, their brain chemistry will switch when they uh, see a Guitar Hero high score. You also should not be pushing away all possible friends that you're attracted to. What are you talking about? What is a mayo-ass pit bull talking about? By some miracle, over the years, you know, you do end up in a romantic relationship with her because when well, she decides to settle down out of lack of options for you, the nice guy. This guy's giving me, I'm getting whiplash. <laughs> this is starting to hurt. He's bouncing back and forth from base to uh, base to yikes, base to yikes. Yeah, don't enter in a relationship out of compromise, but also don't, don't stay friends with people just because they won't date you, but also maybe do. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't enter a relationship that, that she, they're not as passionate about. <laughs> oh, I'm overwhelmed. Of course people find this convincing. He's taking every side. At no initial attraction to you. This is a very, very unhealthy basis for a relationship. Yes. She will probably never really respect you. And he's done it again. <laughs> and he's done it again. <laughs> This guy doesn't miss. He keeps finding a way. How many more zigs and zags can he st stuff into this experience? Yes, it's a bad foundation to a relationship. All right, all good. Um, hey, uh, Rob, we uh, want to thank you for doing your speech. I've got a little bit more to say. You as a man, and you will probably always see, see her as a what? Oh no. Oh no. There's so many options and every single one of them is bad. Why am I hovering over follow subconsciously? See her as better than yourself. You deserve- I don't get- wow, he- We've zagged. I'm getting nauseous, man. He's giving me vertigo. That was not terrible. I mean, it, it's weird because it sort of implies that a relationship is, is predicated on a, a balance of power and you don't want to lose that power to her as opposed to just mutually respecting each other. Uh, but, and then you deserve better than that. Yes, based. God damn, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass out. Better than that. Have the guts to tell her no. And then, and then it's like, I don't want to be your friend, right? That's the point. Okay, sure. That's, that was an exhausting uh, three and a half hours. 58 seconds? Absolutely 100% sure that was longer than the Batman. You know what I want to be? I want to be the meandering village idiot of the commentary community and find the things other people talk about in a more interesting way. Like, what if this is the next fresh and fit? It won't be. But, you know, you can see how the, the idea is good for me. That's what I've been saving this space on my hand for. <laughs> that is wild. The only set decoration. <laughs>
at Sprint. This is, okay, and this is the message that I will portray to the guy best friends. Again, they will always see you as friends because you're always relying upon them and you're always there just as- Ew, yeah. Oh, they'll keep you in their life just because you seem to be a considerate person that is there for them in just like an emotional capacity without a, a ugh, without some kind of motive, deeper, darker, more selfish motive. Cut that out immediately. Time to set goals, and that goal is uh, emotionally withdraw from people that don't reward you for the things that you want exclusively. If she breaks up with her dude and she's calling you to cry to you, don't answer the phone. Oh, man. Imagine for a moment, dream fog. Imagine for a second that what you just watched goes on for 40 plus minutes, because this is a podcast. I, I've, I've made multiple podcasts and they all suck. They're all terrible, okay? Check them out, sad boys. Check them out, Arxpod. Anyway, <laughs> every podcast is bad, just like every YouTube channel except for mine. The way this is intended to be taken is over 40 minutes. Of that. Hey, why well, sometimes somebody you can compassion doesn't exist. <laughs> compassion doesn't exist, and you're a beta cuck if you uh, want to provide something to someone else altruistically, or not even altruistically, just to be kind for any reason at all, ever. That if you give off these signs, then women will naturally chase you and blow up your phone wanting a date, and men will want to be friends with you. The first sign that you're an alpha male is that you don't. My man's here. He does sound like text to speech. It's like Microsoft. Uh, K Kevin. Beta males tend to buy the fanciest things and blow money on women that are not that interested. They will try extra hard to earn her respect, but alpha males don't care about getting your validation because they're comp- Oh, an alpha male like Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. <laughs> Remember when he totally alpha'd Cell? <laughs> No! with themselves. Number two is that he doesn't waste time on wishy-washy people. We naturally want to chase that which pulls away, but alpha- wishy-washy people and uh pizza view it only as a waste of time he knows there's better fits for him i love these i love these sudden <laughs> these sudden anime intros so i gotta be like super saiyan 2 gohan i gotta be like madara he's sensing the weave in me right now um i've got to be like this person <laughs> There. Number three is that he's not concerned with the opinions others have of him. Basically, he defines himself. He knows that others may view him as dumb, smart, annoying, attractive, or even crazy. That's what people think of me. That's what people think of me. They think I'm crazy. They think I'm a little different. Okay? Uh, I'm actually something of a broken toy. <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm from the island of broken toys, dude. Uh, people think I'm random, actually. Penguin. Jeez. <laughs> and people like to frame me as kind of a bad guy, but I'm actually just a little different. <laughs> Normal people scare me. Don't do this with women. Respect them unconditionally. <laughs> Have the talk with a girl when a man- What? Tell them about sex. A man is in his most confident state when she is chasing him. After about six to eight weeks, if you do everything right. Well, this is what I always love about these, is it starts off as just kind of this vague, uh, indirect, but I guess, like, acceptable, digestible advice about just, hey, be yourself, don't restrict yourself. And then it always ends up in, like, science. It always ends up in some kind of nice, viable, calculatable strategy. In about four to six weeks, when uh, I, I, the, the woman's brain has fully cycled, when all the cells have been replaced. Will sit you down and want to know how you feel, and this is her admitting that she wants a relationship with you. Yeah, that's what happens when you ask somebody out. When somebody you want to ask you out asks you out, the first thing you think to yourself is, "I am a month and a half away from being willing to do this. I am a month and a half away from uh, of being ignored from being willing to do this." Oh, are you thinking the same thing as me? Hey, Jordan, you can't keep ending videos with some pseudo meta commentary on how you don't know how to end videos uh so instead we're going to do something interesting and exciting uh we're going to come to kind of a dar man style conclusion on everything we've watched today hold on wait, wait hold on. that's a little tight on the leg a little tight ha, I'm, it's stuck okay i can't go all the way i'm just gonna have to kind of float above the chair <laughs> pretty crazy my heart is focused on bob cuts and out of our long cuts and retakes read up my remakes mistakes i won't make like mistakes a full bus punch him boy then we replay uh, also um i just want to check something real quick kind of like to see if, if this is still the case jordan adika 
Well, 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 what do you know? I'm hidden by restricted mode. Did you know that? <laughs> Why? Because I swear constantly I'm, in a, I'm a cyber bully. Okay, and that's bad.